Hey there, YouTube. My name is Kim. This is going to be your reading for the next 48 hours. It applies when you need it. Um, we're going to start with some tarot and then move into the oracle cards. So, hope everybody's doing great. I do appreciate all the comments that you leave and your likes, shares, subscribes. Definitely helping support my channel by hitting that like button and subscribing. I do appreciate it so much. So, we're going to get started. Okay, Taurus. So, let's call in your angels and spirit guides, higher self, higher power. Let's get into the reading. And this is for, once again, the next 48 hours. I'm going to start with the archetype deck first. So let's see what it has to say about the overall energies for this reading. This is going to be a general reading with some focus on love. Um, if I see a card that really stands out to me, to mean that. <laughs> Sorry, that's not funny. It's just something around me. Kitty. Shh. Okay. So, the unseen and the pilgrim. Okay, we're going somewhere. We are going places. When we see the pilgrim and the unseen, man, these together show exploration on um, behalf of you that is maybe seeking the things that are unseen, um, navigating our feelings, navigating, you know, being closer to spirit, having that veil being thinner. And the Pilgrim, like I said, it's all about travel and experiences and um, also exploration. That's what they're really good for. I have Eros on the bottom of my deck. Some people might be exploring like, um, and I just don't want to say, but sexuality, because it is part of life. And that's just one theory that I have. So let's move on, Taurus. We're going to go to the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. Let's find a few cards from here for the next 48 hours. What do you have for Taurus? There's one. Whoa. All right. We have Be Flexible. <laughs> I think that goes with my last comment. <laughs> As those be flexible, also be adaptable in different situations. I'm sorry. And then the community is um, the community card is all about being in a group that you feel like you belong with, that you join. I'm trying to think that you know what? Let's pull some energy cards with these because right now, I mean. Right now, I'm not even getting something really... This, I'm understanding how it could be related to being adaptable and traveling and things like that. Okay, so now I'm getting that maybe there are some groups in the, either the community or outside your walls. Like, behind something that you've been defending or putting walls up from, there might be something that you really need to give a try might be something that's unseen that will really benefit you but like I said let's let's get a few more cards oh we have serendipity on the bottom I like that I like that for you <clears throat> okay let's get the guardian angel card and then we're gonna draw some tarot maybe the guardian angel card can tie this all together explore something maybe explore something on an online community or Something that is unseen you're going to find when you explore different options, probably. And we have Angel of Procrastination. What are we procrastinating about? Of course, you could be procrastinating about anything. Um, it just tends to be something fairly common that we do. There. So, angel of procrastination comes out when there's something that you've been putting off, haven't been doing yet. So, it, you know, it may very well be that an angel is coming along. And this card actually states that when you're procrastinating, you need to take a time out. Either take a walk or meditate, something, something you know, that you take a time out for yourself to not think about what you've been procrastinating about. And after that, you know, the angels will have figured out some way or spirit to figure out how to get you back on track. <clears throat> That's what I've got with that. So, angel of procrastination. Hang on, let me adjust this real quick for you. All right, that didn't do anything, but <laughs> let's move forward. 
Move forward. All right, Taurus. Sorry, these cards are so hard to shuffle. What is the issue card with the Urban Tarot? The Hermit. The Hermit, yeah. Okay, this might be what you're exploring. Like I said, you might be exploring your feelings, thoughts, your spiritual side. Going in, this, sometimes this card can be the card of loneliness. Also, if it is about um, like some single people that are wanting to date, it could be about loneliness. You want to keep on persevering when you're in the hermit mode, though, because you'll find some answers. And this might be speaking to this time out that we said with the angel of procrastination. Let's see what the challenge is. Whoa. <laughs> So, Taurus, your challenge is with Leo. This might be a um, sign that Leo is in your life and this person poses a challenge. Or maybe, heck, maybe they're helping you move forward and explore some things about yourself. Uh, it's also, is in general, having the strength or courage to get through something. This might be a particularly painful situation. Uh, having to go inside like this and feeling kind of lonely. So yeah, you might need the courage and the strength to persevere and get through this. What is the past position, Taurus? Okay, temperance is nice. Temperance is nice. This is being able to balance. It's really important to keep everything in balance. Work, play, um, your home life, your business life, your hobbies your time out, what do you do for fun type of deal. And also, temperance brings with it some change, but with divine timing being at play. So you're getting help and assistance, too, from the spirit world here. And they have moved something along. It might be with this, with this issue, with this Leo card. It might be. Let's look at your future spot, or let's say projected future, okay? That's better. Four of Swords. This card in this deck means truce to call things kind of even, not wanting to fight, not wanting to fight. But the Four of Swords can indicate that there is some kind of healing that needs to take place. Either I feel like it's within you with this Hermit card because that would definitely be going inside. You could be lonely about having to heal from something physical and being by yourself. Or um, something emotional that uh, maybe makes you feel like you're isolated because it's such a um, it's such a very individual thing to go through. Maybe like something like the Dark Knight of the Soul energy. No. Let's get you another card. Let's get another card for spirit advice for you, Taurus. going on the floor today for some reason all right two of cups so i mean there's something that's look either a spirit is advising you to focus on this partnership it may be with work it, it may really be more with emotions and love because that's what it's pointing to this is about love and making harmonious decisions on really great partnerships your two cups are full, and two people's minds are kind of thinking at one here. And it's really beautiful right here. Let's do um, let's do another card. I kind of like having two for spirit advice. Let's do that. One more. Nice. Nice, nice. Maybe there's a new start in love or something that you've been working on. It's coming true. There's a new chapter. I feel like somebody's really ascending. And this is ascending up to another level. Whatever chapter you're uh, turning over for yourself or helping this person uh, or this person, Sagittarius or Leo, turn over, this is going to be a really great card for you. This is the world. So focus on, focus on starting new with something. Focus on things being different because... Things are just brand new in this chapter. Able to, you know, something could come in, like a new career. Um, 
it could be about the two of you doing better. If it's a love reading and you're focused on that, it could be about you all ascending to new heights. This can be in career too. Like I said, this is just indicating that something is a really harmonious partnership. So that also can be about, um, definitely can be about company and business. Maybe it's you and one other person that are having this business. Hmm. All right, Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. One more, I like, I like uh, ending on six. Bold, plenty of material things. Maybe that's something you finally agree on. I'm getting that energy from the Four of Swords, which I usually don't get, but I'm getting that something it has been bothersome and it's now it's something that you finally agree on. Egg, success assured with good plans and hard work. Well, yeah, there's your success. Oh, broken ring, parting of the ways, either romance or business. This is giving it a rest, okay? This card right here, something was given a rest. I think it comes back really good, though. Or it comes back brand new for you. Yeah, comes it's something that was a broken apart that comes back together for you. Pineapple, a reconciliation. Reconciliation, I always pronounce that wrong. And then, well, family wishes come true. That's wonderful. And then Tiger, doing something risky and taking a chance. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, this is for Taurus. Uh, join me for your next reading. And as always, sending you love and light. Bye.